Hey guys, how's it going? This is my first video with my purple hair. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I've always wanted to do um, like a, a crazy unnatural hair color and uh, I've always been too scared and I finally did it and I'm so happy with it. I think it's gonna be purple for a long time. So I hope you guys like it. So today's video, we're gonna talk about something that you guys ask about all the time, my tattoos. So I'm gonna tell you what I have, where they are, and give you a little bit of history behind them and meaning behind them. Um, if I told you the entire meanings, it would probably be like a 10 hour video, uh, but I will do my best to keep it short. <laughs> the first tattoo I got was a lightsaber on my finger. Uh, I got it with a friend of mine and because I just like Star Wars, um, I decided to go with a tattoo on my finger because I needed it to be something small and I also wanted it to be some place that you couldn't really see it unless you knew it was there. Um, I needed something small because it was my first tattoo and I was very nervous that I was going to pass out. I don't do well with blood, I don't do well with needles, so it was, I was very nervous. Thankfully, I did just fine. Um, but yeah, that's my first tattoo and it needs to be redone again because uh, finger tattoos fade really fast. The next tattoo I got are lyrics to Chelsea Smile from Bring Me the Horizon, um, right here on my ribs. And it says, we carry these things inside us that no one else can see. They hold us down like anchors and drown us out at sea. Um, and it's a little bit different from the actual lyrics to the song, just because I thought it flowed better for a tattoo. Um, but yeah, at the time when I got it, I was going through some stuff. And um, it was just my reminder to sort of not let things that have happened to me hold me down. Um, because I definitely am the kind of person that lets them you know, weigh me down and drown me. Um, it affects my life and uh, I just needed to be reminded to not do that. <laughs> I also just really liked the song. The next tattoo I got is my ISO symbol from Tron. Um, I have always really liked Tron, the old one and the new one. Um, and I decided to get the ISO symbol because the ISOs are very important in the Tron universe. They are um, like a miracle. They were described as being a miracle. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and then I also have around the symbol, these blue lines. Um, they kind of look like veins, which are kind of cool, but they are the light patterns from the suits that they wear in the movie. And I thought that was important because I make costumes and I really liked the costumes in the movie. And I thought it was cool to sort of tie that into the tattoo as well. The next tattoo I got was my very first Kingdom Hearts tattoo, and it's this one here. And it is the crown from the logo and the Roman numerals for 13, after the organization 13. Um, I got it because Kingdom Hearts is my favorite game of all time. It was the game that got me into games. It was the game that got me into cosplay. It was the game that started my love and passion for games. The next tattoo I got is on the top of my foot, um, and it is the horde symbol from World of Warcraft. Um, it was the absolute most painful tattoo of all of mine, uh, and it really needs to be touched up, and I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever will. I don't want to do that again. It was, it was really rough. World of Warcraft was such a big part of my life for, like, ever. For, <laughs> that's pretty much all I did for 10 years. Um, I mean, I played I played uh, with all my friends. I played with my boyfriends. It was it was all I did. Um, I really love that game. I will always love that game, and it has a lot of meaning to me um, because it started it started a lot for me. The next tattoo I got is by far my favorite, and it is my Oblivion Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. Um, my sister in law did it, and it's just perfect. And um, I got it because it was the very first prop I ever made. Um, and it's right there, hanging on my wall. I still have it after all these years. Uh, it was the first prop I made for the first cosplay I ever did, and it got me started in cosplay. So, yeah, of all my tattoos, I think it's the most meaningful too. It was the start of my career, and uh, I absolutely love it. And it and it looks pretty sweet. <laughs> the next tattoo I got um, is a snowflake on my wrist. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in white and blue ink, and it is from Frozen. Um, it's the main snowflake they use in all the art, and I bet you guys can guess what the meaning is. Let it go. <laughs> like I mentioned before, um, I definitely let my emotions get the best of me, and it affects my life, and it's just my constant reminder to not really worry about it, and just to kind of let everything go, because there's no use in worrying, and everything will get better. The next tattoo I got is really cool. Um, it is the 
symbol from the wallpaper in the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Uh, and it's cool because my whole family actually has this tattoo. Um, my dad called me up once and he, both my parents were always kind of, not necessarily against tattoos, but just sort of indifferent. Um, my dad called me up and was like, hey, what would you think about our whole family getting a tattoo together? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I heard angels singing um, but <laughs> anyways, I was like, yes, of course. Um, wait, mom too? Mom's gonna get one? And he's like, oh yeah, she'll get one. Okay, let's do it. Um, <laughs> we decided to go with this one because we are huge Disney fans. We always have been. My parents were Disney fans um, when my brother and I were born. And we spent all of our vacations at Disneyland just means a lot to my family. So it was really cool to get a tattoo with uh, both my parents and my brother that all matched and celebrated our love for each other and for Disney. The next tattoo I got is right here. And it is a quote from Kingdom Hearts, my favorite quote from Kingdom Hearts, and it says, you are the one who will open the door. Um, and that means to me, if I want something to happen, I need to go and open the door. I can't sit around and wait for you know, opportunity to present itself. I need to go and open the door myself and get everything started. So I like that one a lot. So I have another finger tattoo on this hand. Um, it's a black ring right here. And um, you guys might know that if you wear a ring on your left ring finger, it means that you are promised to someone else. You love someone else. So that's why people wear their wedding rings or their promise rings or whatever on that finger. If you wear a ring on your right ring finger, it's a promise to yourself. So it's just my reminder to love myself and to take care of myself. And the final tattoo I have, the most recent one I got done about a month ago, uh, is my Paupu fruit from Kingdom Hearts. I got it with my best friend, Ash. And uh, if you guys have played the game, you're probably familiar with the Paupu fruit. It is said that if two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. So I thought that was really cool, um, especially to get with my best friend because now we'll be part of each other's lives no matter what. <laughs> so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely have plans to get more tattoos. Um, I just need to sort of figure out where they're gonna be now because I have so many plans that I need to make sure they like, you know, they all sit right and they don't like overlap each other and stuff. But eventually I would like to get a Kingdom Hearts sleeve and um, a whole bunch more, a bunch more. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it was a little bit short and I was quick with my meeting. If you guys want more details, you can always ask. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a good day. I will see you next week.